Hi everyone! Today I'm here with Alfred and we are going to talk about and repot all these succulents with ruffles. Huh? Truffles? Ruffles! <laughs> This is Leslie of Succulent Social and today, I, due to popular demand, I'm here with my husband Alfred who will help us repot and we're going to talk about all these um, succulents, um, echeverias with ruffles or these frilly um, leaves. Um, so it's called ruffles. Ruffles, I, I not truffles. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought they called frills. Frills or frills. ruffled um, echeverias. Oh, okay. um, yeah, so we have quite a few to repot today, two, four, six, eight, that we will repot. Uh, but I want to show you first our very first Echeveria with ruffles. Okay. So this is um, our, what do you call this? Uh, this, this is, is our uh, blue, blue curls. curls. Yeah, so this is our blue curls. curls. It just rained. Um, last night so we got this in one of the nurseries that we visited maybe about one and a half about, one and a, yeah. about one and a half to two years back and this is our first um echeveria like this i used to think that they're high maintenance and they're quite well more pricey than the common ones so i didn't want to buy it but when we were there alfred just said i'm gonna get you a new pet and, <laughs> and we got this and we call it pet malu <laughs> you're not gonna get it but it's um, uh, a filipino slang for malu pet <laughs> which means i don't know the translation in english so anyway this is our first one and it went through a lot um it almost died I think last winter because we had a bad um, fungal infestation yes and what could be the reason oh uh, I think one of the reason is the soil as well because we moved from the nursery pot to this one and we just used a normal soil uh. and I think it was just soaked and then it's winter and then we keep on watering it yeah I think we over cared yeah. for this one so I think I remember it only had a couple of two leaves at the top mm. left and we pray that it will survive but now it's looking gorgeous, it's looking gorgeous. Okay. so now we were inspired to get a few more so we have all of this now to repot so what do we have boss <laughs> Uh, so we have this is called the Paradision Surprise. Yes, Look at that, it has gorgeous. tiny leaves and a lot of frills. Yeah, and we have this one is Blue Butterfly. So the leaves are quite pointy, or oh, it's pointing up upwards, and it's getting flat here on the top. Mm. And this is more like greenish. Compared to the other one, this one is bluet. Bluet. It's a very bluet, and the curls are I, I don't know longer. Mm, yeah. Compared to the other two, um, this one has bigger leaves. Pastel. It's a very pastel, and I bought this one. I think this is the latest one I bought hmm. and when I bought it, it has only like four leaves but now it's like happy it has more leaves now this one is it's a very blue waves mm, yeah I think so that that's... that is a common um, ruffled I always see them yeah and this one is curly locks they start to get red. I think it will get more red during winter. And I think this is the oldest one we have. No, okay. the, the Zoro. Looks like cabbage. <laughs> it's a very Zoro. I oh, know this is second. No, this is the second one. Because I remember the first one is this. So what's this? Catella. Ah, Catella. 
And this one almost died too, no? Yeah, this one was infested before with um, mealybugs. But now look at that. And it's super healthy. The it's stalks flowering. are... And we thought it was very like fragile, but look at these yes. guys. It's so thick. It's like plastic. Yes. Like the stalk is... I can't even press it. It's just so hard. Yeah. And this is like... See? It's like really like I plastic. I thought before they would be like... They can crack or they can snap easily. <laughs> yeah, like because it looks like parang uh, like lace and yeah. like those thin leaves that are soft, but they're hard to they're when hard. you well, they're hard. They're hard. I can't yeah. even. You can't, can't even cut this with a regular scissor. Yeah. You have to use um, the secateurs or things like that. So okay, so these are what we are going to repot today. Yeah. All right, so we wanted to repot all these um, beauties a while back. However, we finally get a chance because we went to Bonnings maybe a week ago and we bought these beautiful pots. And Alfred said, okay, he was inspired. This is the ones, these are the ones that we're gonna use. Why did you choose this? I choose this because of the depth. It's not so deep because I mean, Echeverias, they are, uh, their roots are shallow, so they don't really need a lot of soil at the bottom and they are wide as well so this one is a 15 centimeter pot so that means there they will just be right in yeah. their size there so yeah. the leaves are not kind of uh, um, the overflow or they mm. or go over the, the there's still room for growth of that. Yeah. so i chose this although for today's video we are still using the size 17 a uh, 17 and cm pots with uh, deeper height just because we have spare <laughs> two pieces of this, you know, this so we want to this one in bunnings <laughs> we always buy this bunnings is a general trade store like in this. in australia and they have a lot of gardening stuff as well but we always buy this because this is one dollar <laughs> for a terracotta pot that's that's quite affordable however this one we went we splurge a bit <laughs> for the perfect size and we bought this for two dollars each so <laughs> this is what we're gonna use plus additional of those two um, why you're laughing we are, we are still cheap people so. yeah yes <laughs> i'm a cheapskate anyway so what do we have so i'll probably use the tall ones for these two here yeah because they're pretty old already so i reckon they need more um area or more area for growth yeah so i'll start with the 15 cm and yeah. I'll, I don't know, I'll pick one here, yeah. which is Echeveria Blue Waves. Yes, so all right. This is just an option, I'll just cut a small net here, just put it here. All right, okay. At the bottom, and then I'll pick it up with soil. Of course, the soil that we're using is um, one which is... Um, well draining, fast draining, because as he said, um, the succulents, they like water and they store water. However, they don't like to be completely soaked in water, especially we're approaching winter. We're in, we need the soil to, to not be damp all the time, especially winter. It's, it's, it's more um, difficult for the water to evaporate because of the colder weather. And I think we also have to mention that's why we chose the terracotta. Yeah, terracottas are porous. So they're very good at air circulations. Um, and yeah, they, you can easily like uh, when they're over watered, um, water just easily evaporate or just flow out of the pot and yeah. does not pull in and pull out inside. So what I'm doing here is just really, because it's really compact. Again, this is one of the first few ones that we have. So if you look at that, it's root bound. Yeah. So I'm just gonna free those roots. Like not completely remove them, but tease them a bit. Yeah. Yeah, to uh, loosen, but loosen, loosen a bit. Yeah, loosen the soil. Then I'll just put in some more soil. Okay, so while it's doing that, I'm gonna tell you why we have a lot. Okay, so here's the story. <laughs> 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 when he's from, when he's, coming home from work so he he's his day job is an engineer so 
and when he's coming back home from from his day job i would always ask him please pass by bunnings buy this for me buy that for me maybe soil or uh sand or um whatever that i need for the day but then he would come home and he would be like okay here are the the soil that i bought for you oh by the way they have this very beautiful ones on the shelves and i bought this for you mm, that's the trick guys huh i bought this for you is the trick and in the in the last three months that we are here he has actually bought quite a few these are just the freely ones i'm gonna take photos of the other ones that he bought there how worthy us and, and the like so those are for collections yeah guys. those are for collections actually <laughs> so uh, yeah so one reason is he would say this is for you and second is this is to add to our collection so i cannot complain there all right go. one down so he's already halfway through i have already like four of them potted here and if you've noticed in how he did it basically um, he filled it up first with um, soil up to about say three-fourths and then he put the um, plant wherein he teased um, the original soil ball um, so that it get loosened and then the roots will just have um, they're freer and they can like grow through the new soil that they there that we put in and then he just added more soil until all the roots are covered and notice how he did not fill um the 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 pot up to the rim with soil it's because we are going to put some top dressing later and also this soil will still kind of how do you call it go down as they as you water them they get they will be compacted down and there will be more space here and it's important to leave some space here so that when you water them it sort of have a it will have a room for the water to like make a pool and then they will just drain from there instead of when you water them if there's no space the tendency is for them to just spill over so try to leave about one cm of space here then if you can see as well before he re replant them he is taking the time to actually remove all those leaves that have dried at the bottom and, and that's good to do that because um, these are haven for pests especially um, when they grow the tendency is they will just be um, under and it's difficult to get them so this is a perfect time perfect opportunity to remove all these dried leaves actually this um echeverias they grow really big like if you if you see if you look at those like landscaped um gardens they have this in way big like i don't know 30 to 40 centimeters and they're really good. It's like the focal point, no? Yes, the yes, that's that's the word. They're they're really good, like focal point for your garden. And I think because of their shapes as well, like they are unique. Unique in a way. Yeah. Because of the shape. They stand out they stand from out. the rest of the um, like rosettes. So. But some of them have leaves, like they are apart from each other, so it looks. Uh, not as compact like this one where it kind of visually it covers a lot of space mm. this one doesn't look like it covers a lot of space because you have it's you widely know, spaced out widely spaced out yeah yeah so they have a lot of do they get pests a lot i think so because they are also like echeveria they are echeveria so they will have the same experience as other echeverias yeah but maybe for arrangements, if you want to use a Zorro as a focal point, you might want to put some smaller pieces at the bottom yeah. to cover the spaces if you want that yeah. um, look. So now we have finished, or he finished repotting all of them. And now we are just going to 
add in our top dressing. So for this one, we're gonna use um, River, River Pebbles. Pebbles. And we still keep the names. <laughs> yes, very important. If you happen to buy anything that already has name names, tags. name tags, just use them. Or, or some people because they want to have like uniform name tags, so you can write as well. But this is very important because it has. This is a beautiful name tag because they have photos as well. So I think they have some. Uh, they also have care guide. Yeah, and yeah. also some description about the, mm. the plant. Um, I, we haven't really tried it, but I heard that they, they're quite difficult to propagate with leaves. With leaves? Oh, yes. Okay. So they're mostly, they're, they're, it could happen, but the chances of having um, propagation with leaves would be... Um, is that for frills? Only? For frills, for frills. Because the tendency oh, okay. is that if you set them aside, they just dry out and some some have will give out roots but not pops. So they said that the best way to actually propagate them is to head chop or to behead. Okay, so while we're doing the pebbles, now that we have repotted them, how do we care for them? What do we do? Uh, these are chiverias, so pretty much like after so, repotting. After repotting, um, I would suggest not to water them yet, probably for the next two weeks. All right. Just to reestablish those um, disturbed um, roots, because um, we've you know we've uh, loosened the roots, so there might be some cuts there. So yeah. not not. Soak those um, disturbed roots probably in the next two weeks just to because we're using dried soil yes. anyway. Yes. We are pretty much sure that the roots will not rot. Correct, correct. So any any cut may it be on the stem or on the, the root set system. itself or the yeah. root system. It's best not to soak them or fill them up with water. That's why we're using dry um soil mix and then we will not water them for at least two weeks until they're more um, established and probably we will, we will not put all these pots in direct sunlight yes just any change of environment it's best to keep them undisturbed and no like intense heat intense um or not not intense but a lot of water just so that they will um Adjust. Adjust, <laughs> yes, to the new environment. Mm. Let them settle in. Yeah. So here they are. We're done. And as Alfred mentioned, we will keep them first in a shady area. And we will not water them for two weeks. Um, good thing that they actually got some water um, during the rain, so which is good. Make sure that you do that before repotting to water them first. Make sure that they are hydrated and then you can repot and then they can endure the next um, two weeks of not watering them. Pardon the wind, it's such a strong wind right now, but yeah. Good thing we're done. Look how pretty they are.